Lady yields back. Who else seeks recognition? What purposes, Mr. Gates, seek recognition? Move to strike last word. Gentleman is recognized. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I have some concerns about this legislation, uh, really because I think our committee did so much important work to create a, an appropriate venue and forum to resolve these disputes by getting rid of arbitration in these circumstances. And I was proud to join the majority in a multi-year effort to ensure that that got done and that that reform was signed into law. But just as Mr. Cicilline pointed out, well, all the Republicans who opposed the arbitration changes said what we really need is uh, non-disclosure agreement changes. I think one could reasonably say that the changes we made to the arbitration process absolve the need for these changes because there now is a place where you're not in some silent, constrained, I would say rigged environment for the powerful against the weak. People now have the choice. So if someone is being silenced, they're no longer being silenced because a powerful company or a powerful person got them to surrender away their right to an Article Three resolution of their dispute in advance of that dispute even arising. They're being silenced by virtue of their own decision. And you know what is the value of your silence if you don't have the agency and power to sell it if you so choose? And so I, I think that empowering people that have been through uh, any type of, of awful circumstance like the proponents of the bill describe would suggest that our Article Three courts are now available. That is an appropriate forum. Um, also, well, the gentleman. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm eager to get into a colloquy, but on a, on, a, on a specific point that I've been thinking a lot about. So we used to not have no-fault divorce in America, and that required people who sought a divorce to plead a basis for that. And so even if there wasn't infidelity or abuse in a marriage, someone who wanted to escape that marriage would be required to plead those things. Otherwise, the dissolution of marriage would be, would be um, automatically dismissed on the pleadings. Here, what I worry about is that, let's assume there's some feature of your employment that you wanna be able to whistleblow on, a, a, a larceny, an embezzlement of some kind. Well, if you would otherwise be constrained based on a non-disclosure agreement, but if you could somehow bootstrap other claims to a sexual harassment claim, and you can say that sexual harassment was sort of part of whatever nefarious activity uh, you wanted to report, you could actually draw false claims of sexual harassment just for the virtue of being able to evade a non-disclosure agreement. So uh, I'd ask uh, uh, the gentleman from Rhode Island if, if, if that concerns you. Yeah, I, I thank you. First, I want to say thank you for your support of uh, the prior legislation that this committee uh, Passed and the president has signed. I think it's, it will make a tremendous difference in the lives of so many victims of sexual assault and harassment. Um, I, the only thing I wanted to, to raise with you, and I understand your concern, is there's a whole range of activities that might uh, occur, or that do, does occur in this space, but that doesn't result in litigation. It's good news now that it can't be forced into arbitration, that people have a right to go to court. But there are a number of victims, of, unfortunately, of this kind of activity who say, I want to be able to share my story so that other people know to be careful. Other people know, don't go work for that person. Don't go work for that company. I don't intend to go to court and sue because I, I choose not to do that. But I want to be able to speak honestly and openly about what happened to me. They, this bill will ensure that they get to do that. And so I think everything doesn't result in a lawsuit. We solve people who go to court and, and can no longer be forced <coughs> into arbitration, and that's great. But we also want to make sure this secrecy that cloaks this activity that allows perpetrators to continue because nobody knows about it to remove that. So I think that's why they complement each other and they're both important. And I thank the gentleman for yielding. I, would, I, the, would the I, gentleman I, yield? Uh, certainly, Mr. Chairman. I just think the gentleman misspoke. We used to have fault divorce. Now we have no I'm fault sorry. divorce, yes. not the other way around. Yes, I'm, I'm not proficient in divorce, <laughs> fortunately. But I, I yes. That, that's I, good. I, we I shouldn't have too many divorces. I appreciate the correction. Um, uh, to the gentleman fr from Rhode Island, I appreciate that, but, but I, I don't know that that reduces the likelihood of this legislation incentivizing false allegations, right? Both things can be true, that, that you need to create a non-litigation forum, but at the same time, if you have to allege sexual harassment in order to evade an NDA, and you want to evade the NDA for some reason that has nothing to do with sexual harassment, I worry that that still would, it, it just creates this bizarre incentive to allow people um, out of that, and I know that this. Is, is, sure. is your, your concern is that if you prevent an NDA from being enforced, that it's going to cause people to make up a, a, an event that didn't occur. I mean, I just don't think well, there's sure. any well, evidence. Well, well, but I mean, a lot of people, when you when we only had 
fault divorce and not no fault divorce, people made up infidelity or abuse right. because that was the only way they could get but, the divorce. But the, the point is, if someone makes a false claim, there are a number of mechanisms to make them responsible for any harm that comes from making a false claim. But, that exists in the law already. I, I agree. I, I just worry that, that this sort of goads that a bit. And, and I, I guess I, I would say on balance, I worry less about that and more about victims of sexual harassment and violence being able to honestly disclose so we can prevent further harm to more victims. Well, and I think what this the time, guy, I know, I know I'm out of time. The time, time of the gentleman has expired. For what purpose does the gentlelady from Texas seek recognition? To strike the last word. The gentlelady's recognized. Uh, let me acknowledge um, sponsors of this bill. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. I, I move to um, focus on certain points. I appreciate um, Mr. Gates' uh, commentary, because he's right. Uh, 